हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द थर्ड ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो फॉर क्लास नाइन हिस्ट्री द टॉपिक इज द फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग दिस फ्रॉम प्रीवियस वीडियोस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द रेन ऑफ टेरर इनिशिएटेड बाय मैक्स मिलियन रोबियर नाउ ऑल दो लुई सिक्सटीन हैज साइन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन he entered into secret negotiation secret pact with the king of prussia and other neighboring countries were worried by the developments in france other neighboring countries were worried about the revolutionaries who were taking active uh, part in governing france they planned to send their own troops to france to suppress the revolutionaries but before this could happen the national assembly voted in april 1792 to declare war against prussia and austria thousands of volunteers thousands of revolutionaries thronged from province to province to join the army they saw this as a war of the people against kings and aristocracies all over europe the revolutionary wars brought losses and economic difficulties for everyone large sections of the population were convinced that the revolution had to be carried further as the constitution of 1791 gave political rights only to the richer sections of the society political clubs became hotbeds of discussions against the government and how to spread the revolution the most successful of these clubs was the jacobin club the members of the jacobin club belonged mainly to the less prosperous sections of the society they included small shopkeepers artisans like shoemakers pastry cooks watchmakers printers as well as servants and daily wage workers maximilian robespierre was the leader of the jacobin club in the summer of 1792 the jacobins planned a rebellion by the people of paris who were very angry by the short supply of food and high prices on the morning of august 10th what they did they stormed into the palace and massacred the king's guards they killed the king's guards and took the king hostage they bound him to a chair and held him hostage later the national assembly voted for imprisoning the royal family the royal family members were to be imprisoned as per the decision by the national assembly elections were held from now on all men of 21 years of age and above regardless of property or no property got the right to vote everyone all men above age 21 got the right to vote the newly elected assembly was called the convention On 21st September 1792 the convention abolished monarchy and declared France as a republic so the convention put an end to monarchy the rule of the king and declared France as a republic where governments would be elected by the people Louis 16 was sentenced to death by the court and 21st January 1793 he was executed publicly at the place de la concorde the period from 1793 to 1794 was known as the reign of terror maximilian robespierre followed a policy of severe control and punishment all those whom he saw as being enemies of the republic or all those who he thought as being enemies of the republic including ex nobles ex religious people members of other political parties even member of his own parties who opposed him who did not agree with him all of them were arrested imprisoned and then tried by a revolutionary court if the court found them guilty they were guillotined robespierre's government made laws placing maximum ceiling on wages and prices focusing mostly on wages and prices meat and bread were rationed peasants were farmers were forced to transport their grains to the cities and sell it at a fixed price the use of more expensive white flour was 
forbidden all the citizens were required to eat the equality bread which was made from whole wheat equality was also sought to be practiced through forms of speech churches were shut down and their buildings were converted into barracks that is uh, army offices and government offices robespierre pursued his policies to so relentless end that even his supporters began op- opposing him finally robespierre was arrested and convicted by a court in july 1794 and on the next day he was guillotined the fall of the robespierre government allowed the wealthier middle class to seize power a new constitution was introduced which denied the vote to non property people again once again the people who did not have any property they were denied the right to vote it provided for two legislative elected councils this was meant as a safeguard against the concentration of power in one hand like robespierre however the directors often clashed with the legislative who then sought to dismiss them so there was this political instability between the directors and the legislative this political instability paved the way for the rise of a military dictator napoleon bonaparte who became the emperor of france and took france back to monarchy once again i'm stopping here on the next video i will continue with this chapter till then bye